All right, hey collective, I'm back on here to come give you guys a general spread for today. Remember the spread that I'm pulling here for you guys is timeless, it's also general. So I need you guys to only accept the message if it's for you, if it's not, leave it for the next person. Also, don't forget to hit the like or the subscribe button if you haven't already, come join me so we can grow the energy over here for you guys, all right? So we're gonna jump into this energy. I ask that you guys only receive the message if you know it's for you, all right? So the first card I flaw here is we have the Divine Feminine card, okay? We have the Divine Feminine, all right? We have the past over grandmother. We have the spiritual realm, and we have spiritual justice, okay? So I definitely feel like a lot of you Divine Feminines, you have a past over grandmother in the spiritual realm that's bringing in some form of spiritual justice, okay? We have 555 is happening. So whatever this spiritual justice for a lot of you guys, I feel like it's happening right now. Some form of change is happening for a lot of you Divine Feminines. And I feel like you have a grandmother in spirit that's bringing in this justice, okay? Whatever this is, it's going to be some form of big changes that's coming in for a lot of you Divine Feminines, all right? We have to clear your energy so something about you guys right now make sure you guys are clearing out your energy okay because i definitely feel like this change that's happening is bringing in a lot of new things here okay so make sure you guys are clearing out your energy because i feel like you guys had a dark coven that was trying to come back together okay i feel like they have been trying to cause interferences or blockages around a cycle in and out okay there is a completion to a cycle but i feel like you guys have a dark coven who's in some form of denial is what i'm picking up here okay um, so they're trying to come, they were trying to come back together to cause blockages for a lot of you guys, okay? And it's something significant about you guys dealing with a whole bunch of mental conflict and trust issues, okay? Um, I definitely feel like they were trying to come back together to put you guys in some form of mental entrapment here, okay? Um, but look here, we have your spiritual team is here. Whatever it is that they were doing for a lot of you uh, divine feminists, your spiritual team has been protecting a lot of you guys, okay? Um, we have the no weapon form shall prosper. We have, it has backfired. Okay, so whatever it is that weapon that this dark coven tried to form against a lot of you divine feminines, it never prospered here. Something has backfired. We have it's over. Okay, um, something about you guys staying in the present moment right now. Okay, it's all about you guys moving forward and focusing on yourself. Okay, make sure you guys are staying in the present and also staying positive right now. Okay, because it's bringing in some form of new change for a lot of you guys. All right, we have your ancestors are here and we have your ancestors are watching over you. So something's in think about a lot of you defined feminists need to know that you have your ancestors that's here they are watching over you especially a passover grandmother that's protecting a lot of you guys okay all right so something definitely is over with continue moving forward okay staying in the present moment okay um for a lot of you divine feminists all right so some additional messages that came out and the sun that's planned for you guys is congratulations here Okay, so I'm definitely picking up for a lot of you divine feminists. You have broken some form of generational curse here, okay? Because the card, the additional message was ancestors are so proud of you, okay? So you are definitely being celebrated in the spiritual realm, okay? It's something about you guys healing your bloodline here, okay? All right, we have the karmic family card at flaw here. So this could be karmic family, okay? A karmic family could definitely be some form of coven also here. Yours or someone else. We have the letter D out here. That could be significant. We have the leveling up. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you uh, divine feminists, there's something about you guys are about to, whatever this change is, is going to level you guys up here. We have 333 on the clock. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are going to receive some type of spiritual upgrade here. Okay. It's all about you guys elevating here. All right. So continue moving forward. We have the letter C E K L R Y B G. First, middle, last name, initials of you or someone involved here. Okay. Um, but like I said, for a lot of you guys, you have a grandmother that's definitely protecting a lot of you guys all right this spiritual justice that's coming in for a lot of you divine feminists is some form of big change that's coming in okay all right so let's see um what's what's happening here what's this what's happening um for my divine feminists here we have after the rain okay there is some form of silver line it says silver line relief hope mercy is over yeah see we have acceptance something is over with here okay all right I definitely feel like a lot of you divine feminists have been through some tough cycle here. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there is some form of silver lining after something here, okay? Something is over with, okay? So that I feel like this is what's happening here, okay? So we have the bud. It says potential promise is about to happen. Keep going, okay? For a lot of you guys. 444 on the clock, you're being protected. So whatever this is for a lot of you guys... Um, for a lot of you divine feminine, this change or whatever this spiritual justice, something was already promised to you guys here, okay? Whatever this new cycle, whatever this big change was already promised here, okay? So for a lot of you guys, it says keep going, 
okay? Keep moving forward because for a lot of you guys, it's something that's about to happen. This change is happening here, okay? It's all about you guys continue moving forward here, okay? All right, so let's see. What's this bud here, okay? All right. What, what else is happening for my divine feminines here, okay? We have trust the seasons here, okay? So something about you guys, continue trusting the process, okay, um, for a lot of you guys. It says embracing change, cycles of life, transition, and growth. Yeah. It's something about you guys that are definitely about to be leveling up. I feel like whatever's coming in is going to push you divine feminists in your season here, okay? So whatever's going on right now, continue trusting the process, okay? Whatever this change is, I feel like you guys have ancestors. This grandmother wants you to embrace this change, okay? All right? Something definitely is changing, okay? What's the trust the seasons here for my divine feminine here? Okay. That's too many. Let's see what this trust the season here, okay? What else is happening for my divine feminine, okay? All right. Look, we have the grandmothers. This card always comes out here. Yeah. It says, remember your roots, perspective, trust the weavings, okay? So it's something about you guys trusting the process right now, Okay. I feel like you guys were definitely going through some form of awakening. I feel like for a lot of you guys, something definitely is shifting for a lot of you guys, okay? This could be your perspective even shifting here, okay? For a lot of you divine feminists, all right? I also want to tell some of you guys, please be gentle with yourself right now, okay? All right? Because you, you guys are definitely going through some form of awakening here, okay? All right? So we have the grandmothers out here, okay, for a lot of you guys. And look, we have the crowning. Okay. Yeah, it's something about you guys could have been I feel like you could have been going through some type of spiritual initiation here. All right. Um this could be your ancestors putting you through this, okay? Um but I feel like it's something about you guys having a seat at the table here, okay? A lot of you divine feminists, I feel like whatever this is that you you have done here, you are definitely held high in the spiritual realm here, okay? Yeah, we have the crowning. All right? Birth and rebirth. Okay, for a lot of you guys, all right, and that's because you guys have been healing the mother line. Okay, we have healing ancestral work, mother line growing up. Yeah, something about you guys stepping in this like um, mature type of energy, also here. Okay, stable type of energy. So, whatever it is that you guys have done or that you're this healing for a lot of you guys, I'm definitely picking up. Okay, is healing your mother's side of the bloodline here. All right. You're doing a whole bunch of ancestral work here, okay, for a lot of you guys. And like I said, it's something significant about you guys having some form of seat at the table with your ancestors here, okay? A lot of you divine feminists are definitely going to be the, for a lot of you guys, I want to say the next ancestor. You're going to be leading, um, you know, people in the future, the, you know, your bloodline in the future. You're going to be the one helping here, okay? Yeah, a lot of you guys definitely, okay? Are healing the uh, the bloodline up the um the mother side here, okay. All right, somebody has been trying to stop you guys from healing, okay. We have the morning dew, clarity, a fresh start, a positive outlook. This is what's coming in for a lot of you guys, okay. There is some form of positive change coming in, okay. This is going to be a fresh start for a lot of you guys, okay. Also, something about you guys receiving clarity here, okay. It's going to bring in like some form of fresh start for a lot of you guys here. Okay, so let's see what else we can get out here. All right, so hmm, let's see what else we can get out here. I'm going to pull here, okay. I definitely feel like a lot of you divine feminists, you are also working with like, um, I don't know why. Um, see, I feel like you guys are working with Archangel Michael also. It says positive thoughts create positive results, okay? So something about you guys staying positive here, okay? All right? And then I tell y'all, be gentle with yourself, okay? It's something about you guys being gentle with yourself right now. It's a lot of energy being cleared out here, okay, for a lot of you guys. Make sure you guys are staying positive here, okay? Because you, a lot of you divine feminists, you are able to manifest. And just like you can manifest positive thoughts, you can manifest <clears throat> excuse me, you can manifest negative results too. So something about you guys staying positive here, okay? Keep moving forward, okay? For a lot of you divine feminists, all right? 
So what's this? Be gentle with yourself here. All right. It says your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Continue trusting your intuition here. Like I said, somebody wanted you guys to be in some form of like mental conflict. They wanted you to be in some form of mental entrapment where I feel like they wanted you to deal with trust issues, trusting your intuition here. Okay. All right. But something about you guys knowing that the, um, for a lot of you guys, your intuition, continue trusting it. Okay. All right. We have the honor and trust your feelings here. Okay. All right, so something significant about you guys, continue honor and trusting your feelings that you guys are having here. It's something about you guys, someone wants you guys closed off emotionally, okay? All right, somebody wants you to hold all that energy in so you're not healing, okay? So something about you guys honoring and trusting your feelings that you're having here, okay? And we have the half confidence. We have the believe and trust here. Yeah, it's something about you guys having confidence, okay, around something for a lot of you guys, all right? definitely around this could be around your healing um i also want to um, tell you guys also i don't know if i said this before make sure you guys are doing self-reflecting here it's something about you guys need to go within and do some form of like self-reflecting and see how far you have came okay because someone wants you to feel like um you know be in some form of entrapment okay all right, so make sure you guys are definitely doing some form of self-reflecting here, all right? Whatever it is that they were trying to do, it has backfired here. I feel like a lot of you guys, something about your strength and your confidence is what backfired here, okay? So we have air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Pisces that flew out here, all right? We have the Pisces in reverse here. We have an Aquarius here, all right? We have Earth in reverse here, all right? Let's see what else we can get, oof. We have Gemini, all right? We have Leo in the reverse here, okay, for a lot of you guys. All right, we have an Aquarius in reverse, okay? 11-11 out here, okay? What else can we get out here? We have Leo again in the reverse, yeah. This is some form of change coming in, okay? This could have been a Leo interfering with a lot of you guys, an Aquarius here, or Earth sign uh, for a lot of you guys, all right? I don't know why I'm picking up like Scorpio energy also here. All right, let's see if we can get one more out here. Oof. Okay, we have uh, Sagittarius that flew out here. Okay, let's see if we can get one more. All right. Let's see if we can get one more out here. We have Sagittarius again. I keep seeing it. All right, 9-9 nine, nine out here. Okay, it's all about you guys releasing some form of energy. Okay, be able to release here also. Okay, because a lot of you guys, like I said, it's something new that's starting in. This is some form of change that's happening. Okay, make sure you guys are, um, like I said, going within. Make sure you guys are cleansing out your energy here. Okay, so let's pull from this deck because I want to see. Because this definitely, see, look, we have to clear your karma. This is what you guys are doing here. Okay, all right. You're doing some form of ancestral uh, clearing here. Okay. This is what I feel like what's, bring, um, what's coming in. We have your mind as a source to energy, okay? So continue trusting your intuition. A lot of you divine feminists, you are connected to source here, okay? Um, for a lot of you divine feminists, okay? All right, what else can we get out here? Yeah, like I said, I feel like we have, I was called here on a mission. Yeah, a lot of you divine feminists were definitely called here on some form of a mission here. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's something significant significant about you guys um, clearing out something around your ancestral bloodline here. Okay, for a lot of you guys. All right. So something about you guys continue moving forward. We have living with purpose, bring prosperity. Okay. I feel like a lot of you divine feminists. We have it's safe to shine, for you to shine. And look, we have our trust, my gifts, and we have our call back, my power. Yeah, I definitely feel like a lot of you divine feminists definitely have called back your power from this coven here. Some of you guys could have exposed this, this, this coven here, okay? I feel like this is what backfired too. You could expose these people, okay? But it's something about you guys need to know that it's safe for you guys to shine. Somebody has been trying to dim you guys here. Whoever this darker energy is. All right. This could be around a lot of you divine feminists. Your purpose here. Um, your purpose could be bringing in you, bringing you guys in prosperity. Someone could have been trying to block you financially when it came to your purpose here. All right. This dark coven. All right. But it's something about you guys. Continue trusting your gifts. Somebody wants you to doubt your spiritual gifts also. Like I said, they want you to be in some form of mental entrapment where you guys are just dealing with a whole bunch of doubt. They don't want you to trust yourself. 
okay? They don't want you to trust your feelings here, okay? For a lot of you guys, they want you indecisive here. But I want to tell a lot of you divine feminists, I, a lot of you guys, you are definitely doing what you were called here to do, okay? You are definitely doing it. We have 15, 15 on the clock. This is what you've been called. You're the generational curse breaker. You're the one that's clearing out all this ancestral uh, ancestral karma. This is why you guys have a grandmother that's protecting a lot of you guys, okay, uh, for a lot of you. So let's see what else we can get out here. Um, let's see. What else can we get out for y'all, okay? Let's see some additional messages here, okay? Yeah, y'all doing healing here, all right? Y'all healing, all right? And you guys, like I said, you are building a, a solid foundation for yourself, okay? For a lot of you divine feminists, okay? All right? You're bringing in some form of karmic justice also. It's happening. So we have the self-care. Yeah, something about you guys, we have energy at the bottom there, okay? Something got you, about you guys, please looking after your energy right now. Make sure you guys are doing some form of energy clearing, okay? Energy work for a lot of you divine feminists, okay? We have the karma, balance, and justice. Yeah. A lot of you guys are definitely receiving some form of karmic justice um, for a lot of you guys. And this could be a breakthrough that's coming in for a lot of you guys. All right? Something big is on the way here. All right? Like I said, you guys are receiving some form of spiritual justice. And this is going in the spiritual realm for a lot of you guys. Okay? All right? Let's see what else we can get out here for my divine feminists here. Yeah, I feel like you guys had a coven that was trying to put up illusions here. I just seen it while I was shuffling, too. I just seen the illusions card, okay? All right, so let's see what else we can get out of here. Any more? We have the third party, and we had it in the reverse. So this could have been, like, three people here. This could have been uh, some form of, like, you know, third party. This could have been up to three people here in, in a karmic family, yours or someone else's here. This could have been three... Um, Feminines here, okay? For a lot of you divine feminists. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you guys also, something about you guys, um, see, we have the higher self activate. I kept seeing this. You guys are definitely leveling up, and I feel like you guys are leveling up to this higher self energy here, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, also something about you guys you know, being able to, like I said, some of you guys could have exposed this coven here, okay? Something backfired because a lot of you guys are definitely tapped into your higher self here, okay? We have the awakening. Like I said, you guys are going through some form of awakening here, all right, for a lot of you divine feminists, okay? What else we can get out here, okay? Yeah, see, we have the confusion and illusions here. We have the divine feminine yeah, you guys have broke some form of illusion with this coven here, okay? I feel like something is backfired. I feel like whatever they were trying to do, for a lot of you guys, you have broken that illusion, okay? All right? And I definitely feel like it definitely is some form of spiritual justice coming in for a lot of you guys. Like I said, you have your ancestors that's celebrating you in the uh, spiritual realm from being able to see through some form of illusion here, okay? All right? You guys have positive energy coming in. Make sure you guys are staying in that positive. Um, I want to tell some of you guys also raising up your vibration here, okay? Um, also, like I said, going within, meditating, and doing some form of self-reflecting here, okay? All right, because a lot of you guys, whatever this is, this spiritual justice is because, it's because of the hard work that you have done, okay? This could be around you doing some hard work around your healing here, okay? Whatever this is, you guys working hard around your purpose. This is why you guys are receiving this change, this spiritual justice here. And you have a grandmother that's protecting you, okay? This grandmother is watching over a lot of you divine feminists here, okay? I'm definitely picking up this grandmother for a lot of you guys could be a fire sign. You could be a fire sign divine feminine here water sign grandmother here okay all right so that's what i have for you divine feminists make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel i will speak with you guys in a minute and i love y'all so much bye